All right, YouTube, welcome back to the channel. We're doing some deck reviews today. I've already reviewed the Unions by Theory 11, the Monarchs by Theory 11, and the Memento Moris by Chris Ramsey and Illusionists. We're taking a look at the last three decks, which is kind of uh, roughly the same. They're all the Dragonback decks. And you can get all three of these Dragonback decks, Dragon back decks for the price of one of these $10 decks from... Uh, other competitors, but we're going to take a look uh, at these individually. Eh, you know, we won't take a look at them individually. We'll just take a look at them all uh, in one video. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to unbox the first ones. These are the traditional, most commonly found. There are the red dragon backs. We have blue and gold that we'll take a look at in a second. I am not a wizard when it comes to card magic. I'm no Chris Ramsey. I'm no Daniel Madison, I'm no Dan and Dave, I'm just very new to the hobby. I've been brushing up on my uh, magic and cardistry over the past three months and decided to do a couple deck reviews on my YouTube channel. I'm normally a tech reviewer. I like to do a couple fidget spinners and other things like that every now and again. Uh, but <clears throat> have recently been buying more cards, so I figured I'd do a couple deck reviews. I'm not sure if there's like a right way or a wrong way to open these decks of cards. I don't have a very sharp knife because I use this at work. But I do like to keep the sticker on there if I can. So, as per usual, you've got the mismatched jokers, which I hate. Hate that bicycle does that. Some decks they do, some decks they don't. These are, I guess, on the lower end uh, of decks. Also, side note, besides tech and fidget spinners, I've also got like seven or eight knife reviews. So if you're interested in that, go check that out. This is the Kershaw 1660 Ken Onion Leak. If you're interested in that, it's a spring assisted knife. Uh, so go check that out. But back to the deck review. Uh, it's got that really wonderful, I mean, a very traditional design from Bicycle, but you've got a very uh, nice green and red, if my shit will focus, uh, design that's there. Uh, so you've got that, you've got the traditional Joker, the backs are absolutely wonderful, it's symmetrical, but it's busy. I like how busy the back of this card is. You've got these four dragons that are coming out here, it's not in you know, terribly detailed or anything like that. Once you spend some time to really take a look at the back of these cards, I feel like you have a deeper appreciation for the time and effort that the artist put into it. I like the larger white borders, one, because I'm crap at cardistry and other close-up magic, so that kind of helps hide some of my errors when I'm doing some, you know, hide, hide the card behind the other card, you know, deal, or I don't have it, like, perfectly uh, squared up or something like that, so I like that. Uh, it sometimes hides that rather than a borderless card. I have a couple borderless decks, but man, I am terrible with those. So you've got a very traditional design. Nothing out of the ordinary here. Very traditional bicycle ace of spades. Pips are very similar. Shading's very similar. Color choice with the black. It's not like a gray black or a very dark black. Very traditional. Font, very traditional. It's got that nice air cushion finish. Uh, you see the queen here. She's kind of got a, a green tinge to her, which sort of resembles the... Uh, back here where it's got that sort of uh, not emerald green I guess uh, back to it disappointed they kind of did that in the face kind of washes out the face but can't complain too much uh, uh, Jack on the other hand has a very good uh, balance in terms of colors compared to uh, maybe the queen or the king king so you've got the uh, red here. It's a very uh, traditional red again. It's not very red red. It's sort of like a ruby red, which you know uh, coincides with the back design, and I appreciate that. Uh, so you've got that. It's very traditional again. You know what these all look like. Design again, very traditional. Less uh, as these are you know red cards, not black cards. Has a little bit less green uh, mixed in there, which I kind of like. A uh, little bit less green, then you go back to the uh, black cards, and you get you get that. That's very traditional. It's a bicycle deck. It's nothing you know too out of the ordinary. Uh, on the other side here, you get the two gaff. I guess they're kind of gaff cards. Um, 
marketing cards, I suppose. No double back. Disappointing. I am going to make a double back out of this. Uh, use a little bit of super glue or double-sided tape, and you can kind of put these together. Join us at Bicycle Cards, and these are the makers of the cards that they have here. Obviously, uh, Bicycle makes quite a few cards, but uh, you can just put a little bit of super glue on the corners there. I like to do a little bit of super glue around the edge and a little bit in the middle. Uh, it is obviously a double thick card, so I mean, if you if you pass this to a uh, spectator or something like that, they might you know kind of notice, wow, this card is thick as shit. Um, but uh, I do like the air cushion that's on these. Uh, they do re require a little bit of break in. It's super hard to spring cards looking through like a camera lens. Um, but these uh, do have uh, a pretty nice card stock to them. Just again, requires a little bit of break in. Uh, they are a little less. I, I like these because they're a little bit, you know, traditional. They're not, you know, too terribly uh, out of the ordinary when it comes to. Uh, card design I suppose so you know you can't really um, can't really complain when it comes to card design and again these cards are three dollars a pack for something like this rather than nine dollars or twelve dollars for some of the theory 11 cards so uh, the uh, card stocks fine it's nothing impressive it's nothing uh, impressive. The air cushion's fine, but again, I feel like the cards kind of, uh, you know, get away from you a little bit when you do that. But once we break these in, I'll probably come back in a couple of months and, you know, say, hey, here's how the cards have held up. If they even last a couple of months, I mean, I've been practicing uh, some flourishes and other things like that, and it's like, gosh, I, I, I don't even know if this pack of cards uh, will last a week. I've been doing, trying to do that hot shot card trick which is absolutely terrible i don't know how i can I, I can't get rid of this whole like mess of cards you're supposed to pull one out and then and then flick it over to this hand but again i'm terrible at cards uh but it's 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 a new hobby so i hope i get just a tiny bit better at that i've got very small hands but no excuses nonetheless these are the red back dragon back cards from bicycle we're going to be taking a look at these uh, in a second i'm actually going to cut the video here and we'll do three separate videos got to start cooking dinner in a minute so thanks for hanging around guys we'll see you in the next one don't forget to stay subscribed take a look at some of the other deck reviews that we have done here shortly we've got a lot of deck reviews to do still with the bicycle cards and i've got a couple off screen here so don't forget to stay subscribed and we'll see you in the next one